people and I am your host Tiffany you're watching initial show of verbally loose these are my sisters and co-hosts I like to call them co-sisters Leanne Lisa and Joan today we're going to speak a little bit about um, just briefly on New Year's resolutions people have their goals lined up their resolutions lined up we're going to tell you our New Year's resolutions, but I, I definitely want to hear yours. So make sure you send us a message on Twitter or Facebook and let us know what your New Year's resolution is. But mine is to stop my profanity, limit it. I don't know if I could completely stop it. It's like a second language in my eyes. Yes, indeed it is. <laughs> yes. And um, my second thing is to tap a little bit more into my spirituality. I think I'm a very spiritual person. But I want to dig a little bit more deeper into that. Stop profanity, spirituality. How about you, Lisa? What was yours? Well, I'm going on the edge. It's a new year, and I don't want to do what I did last year. I want to do something different, which is skydiving. That's what I really want to do. I haven't done it last year because I'm afraid that I may not make it. But this year, I'm giving the edge, and I'm doing it. Come on, LA. <laughs> what's, your, what's your list? Let's go. My New Year's resolution is to repair my credit because I am getting older. And one of my goals is um, purchasing my home by the time I'm 30. So that's what I'm doing. And I, don't, I would say, you know, lose weight and all that, stop smoking. But it's not going to happen, not this year. So. No, it's not. And you know what? It's, it's bad, but it's just my, not. Uh, my <laughs> this is my Bugetto sister. <laughs> she wants to pair credit and buy her house and all of that, which is nice. But come on, that's what the real deal What's the fun stuff you want to do this year? Fun stuff. Honestly, I want to stop working so hard. Yes. I'm missing she does. a lot of family time. Mm -hmm. I'm missing good moments. And I just really want to slow down with working and just start enjoying life. Like, I want to do, I'll probably be doing the things with Lisa. Yes. Isn't it. nobody going to be that I'm crazy enough so. to go with her? Yeah. So I will be going with Lisa <laughs> in her journey. Yes. And Miss Joan. Um, well, my resolutions are to lose five pounds. Lose five uh, pounds where? Yes. Yes. I want a tone. I want to be shaped. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> we'll tighten that up with just a little bit. Come on. I do want to meditate more because I just feel like it'll bring, you know, clear my mind, be peace. I want to be peaceful. Okay, those are great resolutions and, you know, that's something nice to do. Make sure we stick to them. You know, viewers, follow us. Make sure we stick into these resolutions yes. and these goals and you know check us out throughout the year speaking of change um i know everyone wants to change and do something differently for 2013 miss lex is going to give us you know her view on a change for that wardrobe that nice wardrobe this year so next i'm going to give this to my co-host my co-sister lisa hello and i had the opportunity to visit new boutique in westchester because of the simple fact that it's a new year and we all want to update or take away a few things out of our closet. It doesn't require a lot of money to do and you only need a few beautiful key pieces. So check out our interview at Niche Boutique and see how everything went. manager of Niche Boutique and she's going to tell us how Niche all came about. Christy Mack is actually the owner. She started Niche Boutique here in Westchester because she absolutely fell in love with the town. One of her friends actually owned a store in town and she would go and visit her at work and she just thought this would be a great place to open a store. We do carry free people, STS Denim, BB Dakota, and Nikki Vicky. It's in a small town, so we get to really know all of our customers. We have a good relationship with everyone. You know, if you came in here, I would be able to say, Lexi, we just got this in. Maybe you would like this in a different color. And we can actually fit people more with what they want because it is a small store. Check us out, you know, check Mimi out. And if you can catch Chrissy, she's also here some, some days. When you're in Westchester or Main Street, friendly environment, great client <laughs> services, so definitely stop past and get your pics. Oh my gosh, I had a beautiful experience there. It yes. was beautiful. I love their pieces. Yeah. Right up the street from Joan. Mm -hmm. So when I go check out Joan, go check out Niche. Niche Boutique. You know what, Lisa? Those were the great pieces, but you know, a lot of times people lose themselves underneath all of this makeup 
and it's just you know your clothes and your outfit. Leanne, what, you know what, what should we do when you know underneath the skin, underneath all of this? Yeah, because not only that it's about your wardrobe or your hair, but you have to start off with your skin. I recently just visited a day spa on City Avenue and it was the most amazing experience that I had. It's so relaxing, you have to check out the video and see for yourself. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl LA from Verbally Loose. Today, I'm here to get my mani so I can feel better about myself. You'd have to wash yourself right. You should get manicures, pedicures, waxings, facials, massages. All of that helps and it also helps in your daily routine. You will feel so much better, not only about your body, but your skin as well. That was an awesome facial. It's definitely something I need to consider with having four children. You know, I need that relaxation. It's like a facial just gets in there deeper. It's like a punch. It does. That just goes underneath that skin and pulls out all that well dirt. Spent. We're going to bring this next segment in with my little baby sister, Joan. She's the baby of the family. And she's a sophomore at Westchester University, um, her second year. And the first year was very, very tough, very hard. You know, college is not easy. Um, you know, and she's going to bring in this next segment on relationship and dating in college. Um, Joan, go ahead, bring us in. We actually interviewed some of my colleagues on campus, so check it out. This is Joan Evans from Verbally Loose, and I'm here to talk to you about college and dating. Are you dating right now? Yes. No, I am not. <laughs> yes, I am in a relationship. I'm not currently, not technically, I'm not in a relationship. Technically. technically we're They're technically talking. Yeah, talking. Okay. Did you just get out of the relationship? Yes, um, a couple weeks ago. Because you came to college or other reasons? Because I came to college. So what school does she go to? Uh, she lives in Germany. Oh, <laughs> it's a long this is relationship and in college. Do y'all feel as though the space between y'all gets kind of complicated? Not really with modern technology. I get to talk to her about every day. Do you feel like it's harder to be in a relationship in college rather than high school? It wasn't too hard because I was dating her through high school as well. See, so it is possible to date in college. I find that when people come to college, like they get this like chip on their shoulder mm -hmm. like they're just so much better than who they were and that causes a lot of problems especially in relationships you're in college you want to have fun but then you don't want to be shackled down something like that yeah exactly how do you feel about interracial dating oh i'm open to it i think it's a great thing i think it's beautiful do you think um a party guy is like a make or break type thing um i think it depends on the person i personally like a party guy because i like to party yeah. So I don't want him home while I'm partying. Yeah. So as you can see, everybody has their different outlook on relationships. I thought, I was shocked by some of the comments, actually, because it was one guy with yes. a long-distance relationship. It was another girl, the pre-med girl. Like, yeah, she was no joke. She didn't play no games. She said, he got to be smart. Smart. So, But I, what I did like was the partying thing. She said she had to be with somebody yeah. else partying. Well, I felt that the guy that was his girlfriend was over in Germany. That was very interesting. Mm -hmm. They actually um, Skype and everything, but their relationship is good 50, mile, 50 million miles away. Yeah. So that was kind of interesting because it's like, well, how do you see you? Huh? Like, how do y'all interact? What's going on? And he said modern technology, which is interesting because that's what we use every day. Mm -hmm. Facebook, Skype, yeah. everything is on the internet. So that was very interesting how you can still maintain your relationship miles away. So where's your head at, Joni? I'm ready to be in a relationship. Well, I mean, I'm not, I'm ready to, I got out of a relationship, but now I'm ready to be in a relationship. But I think it's just, it's hard to find somebody because I'm always at my school. So if I don't meet somebody at my school, it's hard to meet some, uh, somebody else. Do so you think you'll be able to handle it though once you picked up on it? Um, trying to balance everything out. I think out. I can balance it out. If I have a partner that's supportive, like, of me. Yeah, like a real man, yeah. right? Yeah. She's yeah. Yeah. Supportive. Yeah. Hi, so today we have a special guest, Karan J, a.k.a. the Gentleman of Style, and he's going to be here 
here today to tell us all about how his journey started in 2010 as a fashion designer. And you go to our website, you can see the whole vision of the brand. You can see why I say Kings Inspire Kings. You can see I'm taking trips. You can see me talking to the kids. You can see it's a the whole lifestyle, fashion, inspiration, positivity, all in one, in one outlet. Okay, so that's yeah, why yeah. I kind of want to just generate more traffic to the site and people understand the whole aesthetic of the brand. So you know, when I saw your uh, clothing on and your website, I checked everything out and I looked at it and I thought of coming to America. <laughs> <laughs> coming to America, searching for my queen. Yes. Well, my definition behind young king is young enough to be a prince but qualified enough to be a king. Wow, what would you give to, you know, someone who's starting out like that, you know, someone who might be scared or, you know, they just don't know what direction to take to get that off the ground? I think I was just say, just, just, just take control of your gift. If it's something that you want to do, just, mm -hmm. just do it. You know, I never thought that I would be in front of you ladies right now. I never thought that people would like my vision of the stuff that I was putting out. Mm -hmm. Queen inspired kings, kings were kings together. I don't think people were like that. It's, it's positivity. Like I'm promoting peace at the same time. Yes. And people are actually liking that vibe. I never thought that they would, they would do that, but I really just did what I love. And when you do what you love, eventually people won't like what you love too because you're so passionate about it. Yeah. So they see that through you. They see that through me, so they want to support at the same time. Right. You know? yeah. And also just take your time too. You know, don't don't rush right into it. Kind of plan it out. and stuff like that but I do want to bring on Raymond Floyd and hear his input on the man versus woman topic. Everyone always experienced love and relationship at some point in your life. Um, today we have my husband here. Thanks Joni for introducing him. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do this segment on man versus woman, you know, we couldn't have Kevin here. We would like to have him here because we didn't want to chew Raymond out by itself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, let's get right into it. Um, you know, this segment is more so on our financial love and education as well as looks when it comes to a woman and what we want in a man. You know, so because you know, ladies, we have our qualities, we have our, you know, our list we want in our men. So, you know, let's get right into it. Um, you know, so Raymond, financially wise, do you prefer a woman who is financially stable and why? Well, I don't really care about her financial stability. Why? Because, um, I'm kind of old-fashioned a little bit, and I don't, you know, I, 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 I respect the modern woman. I respect the modern woman because y'all doing a lot, y'all educated. And, you know, if you want to do that for a hobby, that's cool. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, as far as in financially, she don't have to bring nothing to the table. All she got to do is bring um, her heart to the table. Yeah, you bring the bacon home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Raymond, who taught you how to be a man? Well, actually, I just did the opposite of what my dad didn't do. Okay. Oh. When we was younger, <laughs> you know, it... I would do the opposite of Yeah. You. <laughs> it, was, it was just the opposite because he, he never did nothing. He never provided. He never, you know, did that, all the fatherly things. So, and my mom always, you know, said, you know, you know, beat him upside the head for it. So, I just said that I'm going to do the opposite of what he do. So I just do the opposite of what he do. Like, for example, he never paid any bills. So now I try to pay as many bills as I can. So how can you give a man advice that comes from a broken home? 
Well, because there's a lot of them out here, and yeah, I think true. now in this century today, like they want the woman to take care right. of yes. it's like the roles yes. completely yes. changed, and a man's a man. If you don't act like a man or play your duties, then how can a woman respect you? Mm -hmm. Well, I would say this to a man that he's really digging his own hole because eventually she's going to. You know, she's going to help you out in the beginning and you're doing this, but eventually if she's up on her game and she keeps seeing you slacking off and, you know, she working hard and you not, you know, that's where the disrespect coming in. That's why a lot of black women don't have respect for men and they, and it's justifiably right. You know, eventually a little simple argument can be turned into you a bum or you, you know what I mean, you don't got nothing. Mm -hmm. Or she might not even have no faith in you or she might not even look at you as a man. And a lot of men... It's not men, they little boys. Right. And, and women, women calling them out on that. Mm -hmm. So I mean, my advice to, to the man is, is that don't worry about what she's doing. You know, whatever she do, you know, because you know, this 2012, they want to be independent. Go out there and make sure that you pay for the overhaul. Like, even if she got enough money to pay for a bill, just pay it anyway, let her keep the money in her pocket. Like, is it ever a moment to where it's though, you say, okay, I pay all the bills and saying a third, but you spend your money on the groceries. If she's there and y'all working as a team together and you helping her out, like in the house and stuff, because if she gotta put that 50-50, then you gotta fill that void somewhere else. Yes. So you. so if she if she's, you know, if, if it's times is hard and you know you do need her and she is making money, y'all 50-50, then you should think of other things that you can do. You know, just to even it out. Like maybe you might, you know, if she paying the car, you might not be working that day. You might clean the house up or do little stuff like that. You can always fill a void to let a person know in a relationship that you won't be there for them. Yeah. Despite the money. That was some great, interesting topics that we discussed today. We want you to remember to stay current, stay positive, stay loose. We want to thank our guests. Karan J, Kevin Carr, Raymond Floyd. Their their website information is below, so check them out and we'll and stay tuned for the next show. And make sure you visit our website, verballyloose.com. Bye.